Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. And today I wanted to share with you the uh, paper lines and products that we're gonna be using while we go through this journey of learning how to use the new Remnants Lovely Layers, a printable mini album template that I just released. Um, links to everything will be in the description box below. There'll be a link to the new template. There'll be a link to the playlist. There'll be links to the products and the different um, places that you can get them um, as best I can. They may be sold out. Depends on when you're watching this, but they could very possibly be sold, BB, <laughs> be sold out. So I know for sure that I'm going to be using three different paper lines and two of them I used at Metacon and most of you already know which two paper lines I've used, but those two uh, mini albums um, I had already I've already recorded those videos they were actually recorded in February so those actually won't be out until after the main set of videos come out because I didn't um, I wasn't super detailed in how to put it together so I am going to be super detailed in the first album for sure so I wanted to show you the first um, paper line that I'm going to use to make the Remnants Lovely Layers printable mini album. Let me see here. Okay, so this is the first, um, this is the first collection that we're going to be using. Let me go ahead and just get it out. And I don't know on this, the specifics, um, Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. You know what I forgot to tell you guys in the intro video? That this mini album can also be matted with the 6x6 paper pad. I forgot. To, I knew I was forgetting to tell you guys something. So anyway, so there we go. Now you know. <laughs> so I don't know exactly what all I'm going to be using from this collection. So I thought I would just show you everything that I've purchased. And I also wanted to remind you that... I have a whole entire set of this that I've put away for um, when I hit 50,000 subscribers, I'm gonna be giving away all these different full sets of collections of things. And so this is one of those, I just added it to the collection. So I just want to let you know, and if you think you're subscribed, you may wanna check because I went to go look at something the other day and I wasn't subscribed to somebody that I thought I was subscribed to. So you may wanna check and see if you're still subscribed to me or not. Whoop. And that way it'll help me get to my 50,000 quicker. Okay, so the paper line is Love Story by Prima. It's so pretty. I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure, but I think Frank Garcia might've done this one. I don't know, I say that, I'm not real sure. It doesn't say. Oh yeah, it does, Frank Garcia, duh. So there's that, <laughs> and it's really pretty. It's like got these soft pinks. Obviously, it's kind of Valentine-y, you know, feel to it, um, but it does have a little hints of other colors, so that reminds me that I am going to be adding two colors to this mini album because it's just too much pink. It needs something else. Am I right? Like with the Zella Teal, we just needed to add something else. Um, and so check it out with the old, um, the old ephemera stuff on here. I just think, so I might be using, I think I am going to use the new note paper uh, background design for this. So if you're wanting to pick up one uh, specifically, I think I'm going to use the note, but I think both of them would work perfectly. So anyway, so there's not too much color except pink. And then there's the, you know, the, the uh, foil accents and stuff. So it's really pretty. Look at that one. That's so pretty. So pretty. Those roses are beautiful. And then, whoo, check that out. Whoa. That's foily. Uh, and then this looks like maps and stuff on this side. Anyway, so pretty. So I've got the 12 by 12 paper pad. And I've also got the 6 by 6 paper pad. Um, so what I think I'm going to do, I might, um, I might simultaneously make them at the same time. I was going to make one where I print it off onto pattern paper. And then I was also going to make one where I just use the large cutoff pieces and things from that same pattern paper that I just used to print off. You see what I'm saying? So the large cutoff pieces, um, I don't know, I can't make them simultaneously. But I can make one and then go back and make the other. So I'll, that's probably what I'll do. And I may, I may use the 6x6 six six for the second one. I don't know. Um, but 
I do have the six by six paper pad, but it, I don't think it's as pretty as the large one. And I'm not sure why. Where's that one with the pretty roses? Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's cute. I do. I like the larger images better on this paper collection. So there's that. And let me show you. Um, from my muted backgrounds, which are also available on Matsy Shop, I'm going to use uh, two of these. I'm going to use number two, not page two, but number two, which is kind of this greenish color that's already in the collection. And then I think I'm going to use, I can't see, I think it's either 11 or 12 in the uh, muted backgrounds because 12 is more pink. Eight's kind of... No, eight, eight's more pink. Because I want to add some purple. Purple and green, to me, look fantastic together, right? And then with the pink, I just think it's going to look beautiful. So I'm going to add one of the purple and one of the green. So this is in my muted backgrounds, again, that is available. I'm going to use those. It's available in my Etsy shop as well. So those are the two colors that I'm going to add to the collection to complement everything. So I've got those two. And again, I'm reminding you, I don't know exactly what all I'm going to be using. Like, here is the... Um, here is the washi tape, but look at it. It's gone all crazy. Um, I'm sure they're pretty. There's four different ones in there, and the foil one has gone crazy. So one of them's hearts. And anyway, I got it. I'm just not sure how much I'm going to use it. And then the pack of ephemera pieces. These are a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with these with the Zella Teal. So these are pretty cool. So, oh, look at there. There's some clear. Ooh. I like that. I'll, we're going to be acetate shapes. So I bet you we can use some of those. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. Okay, so I got a pack of those. And then these are tickets. Um, I got a pack of these. So I guess there's just multiple of the same thing. Those are kind of cute. And then I got the Say It in Crystals. Those are pretty cool. They got like old flakes or something on them. And then puffy stickers. I love these puffy stickers. They're so cute. Takes me back to when I was a little girl. And then here are some stickers. This one is, um, it doesn't say. I thought it had a name on it. So anyway, it's got two sheets, front and back. They're like little sentiments. Those are cool. And then here are chipboard stickers. Now, I like this better, Prima. This is better than having those big, tall things. I like this better. So these are pretty. They've got glitter on them as well and foil. So cute. So there's two, or no, there's three little sheets of those. So there's that one. And then there's that one. Oh my gosh, so cute. Look at that little carriage. Isn't that adorable? So yeah, this is just begging. There's, see, there's some green things in here, but this is just begging for some purple. Cause you know, I have to add purple to everything. And the foil almost looks purple, so. We're gonna go with that. And then I got an assortment of flowers. I think I got one of everything, but you do not uh, have to do that. But again, I have a whole set of this whole thing that I'm showing you. I have a whole set just waiting to be given away when I hit 50,000 subscribers. Those are so cute. I love those little rosettes. This collection doesn't have any tiny um, little flowers which I thought was odd. Cute, right? So I've got all these. I'm sure I won't use all of them. Maybe I'll use some on one album and some on the other. I don't know, but um, it's a small album. Oh, look at those. Those are cute. It's a small album, so you don't need much. So in the, in the next collection, I'll show you um, what I'm talking about. And then there's those last two. So that is what I got. This is Love Story by Prima. And this is what I'm going to use for the first two albums. So the first album, I'm going to print directly onto the paper. And then the second album, I'm going to use the large cutoff pieces for making that first album. And uh, maybe the 6x6 six six paper pen. So let me move this and get the other collection out of the way. Or let me move this out of the way and get the other collection. <laughs> Okay, so this collection is, well, this was from Metacon, so this is the album we made in Metacon. This is using the Lavender Prima collection. So I just wanted to show you, um, this is the kit that they got, and so this is, this is everything that we're going to be using when we do, 
when you do see the videos, this is all we're going to use. So you need one sheet of every page. I think we use one sheet of every page from a 12 by 12. So there, there's like, I don't know, there's, um, no, you need two sheets. So you kind of need half. So you need the different patterns. So you need one pattern each of every page. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think I'm, I, I think I'm making sense. So, um, let me get this out. Also wanted to show you, I have a whole, whoop, a whole collection of the Prima Lavender as well. The whole thing, all the flowers and everything that I'm going to be giving away uh, when I hit 50,000 subscribers. So, what you're going to need, you don't need those. These are the only two flowers that we used, and we didn't uh, use a lot of them. But those are the only two sets of flowers that we used. And then here's the ephemera pack. This one does not have acetate. This one just has um, paper shapes. But they're so cute. So we use that. And then here's a sticker sheet. This, I think, is a quote. Even though the other one didn't say, I bet you it's a quote, too. But this one is a, a quote. There's two sticker sheets. And then I had wrapped washi around the plastic. So we used some of those stickers. And then I used a variety of embellishments. I used some of my new build embellishments, um, which is this set number four. I used some of those in this one. And then what else? We used a glassing bag. We used the large cut. Oh, and I also used, also used the remnants tags. Um, I didn't, I didn't use the bundle, but I did use some traceable templates as well from there. And I'm also going to use it when I use the love story too. So um, I'm going to be using that and the build embellishments with the love story as well. I meant to tell you that. Um, so and then the collection. Oh, here's the here's the. Um, cover so it looks like this it's prima lavender so when i filmed these videos um i am not kidding i was in a rush and not in a rush i'm not paying attention to what i'm doing but a rush i need to get this done um i needed to take pictures so that i could put it on the usb so because i knew we weren't going to be able to finish the entire album um, in a three hour sitting but that way they could go back and look so um, I filmed two, three, four, sometimes five videos a day. So I wasn't real precise in showing you, this is how you do this and this is how you do that. We, I just kind of did it, you know what I mean? I just kind of showed it and talked and anyway. So that's why these videos aren't gonna be out for a little while, but that is the collection. So you get like four of each page, right? But there's two sides to each page. So you'd need like, for example, like for that, you would need two sheets of that. So. And in the videos, I go through and I show you um, everything that's printed onto what. So I don't want you to panic. Um, and I use the stained script for both this one and for the Graphic 45. So those are the only uh, supplies that you'll need for this one. And that'll be linked down below. And then let me grab the other one. I got one more. All right, so then the last one is the Graphic 45. And this is the fairy dust collection. And I have all of this that has also been put aside to give away when I hit 50,000. So, this was also done at the Metacon in Fort Worth, Texas. And this is the little album we made. So, also we used the same um, Build Embellishment Remnants tags and a Build Embellishment set number four. Each one of these albums, we use different specific things. Like we use that with the Graphic 45. Um, I think we use that in both. I'm not sure. That one's the Graphic 45. The post. I don't know. Uh, we didn't use that postcard. But anyway, so each thing has. You know, it didn't have. We didn't use. We didn't use everything in in this in each one of the albums. Just little bits and pieces. So we did use some traceable templates from the tags. So this is. This is uh, the kit that they got. So we used both the paper collection and then the, um, what's it called? The uh, matching paper. It's like solids, the matching patterns and solids. So they got one of each pattern. So I printed out, and again in the videos, I will show you which one is which. Um, so even if I didn't use that piece of 
pattern paper, it's still in the collection, or it's still in the kit. So we used one of each one of the patterns, and then we also used, with the paper collection, we used the chipboard pieces. And I'm thinking, there's, oh, there's a sticker sheet. That's what, that's what we used. I can find it. Here it is. And then it's the sticker sheet that comes with the collection if you get the collection as a whole. So we used a little bit of that, and we also used some old book pages, but that's it. We, I mean, I've got odds and ends in here, but my build embellishments and the traceable templates, I mean, the traceable remnants tags, we use those as well. So that you're, ne you're really not needing that much for those two sets of albums. You know, I was trying to keep it, keep it minimum. Um, but you can't tell by looking at it because that's a lot of stuff going on in there. So I'm pretty excited about it. I can't wait till you guys get to see both of these albums like start to finish. And the people that took the classes probably can't wait to see the whole thing from start to finish. So if you want to follow along with me, the very first one I'm going to be using is the Love Story one. I don't know the exact pieces on that, but I do know the pieces on the Lavender and the Graphic 45. So... All of that will be linked in the description box below. Um, my templates will be linked in the description box below. So will the build embellishments. Um, I might just have a link to my shop. I'm not sure uh, how I'm going to end up doing it. But um, I'm super excited. I'm really loving these paper collections. And I cannot wait to get started on this album. So it's probably going to be about a week or so before you start seeing any videos on the album. Um, just bear with me. Just be patient. And feel free to use whatever paper collection you want. I just wanted to use, I just wanted to show you what I'm using just in case you wanted to um, play along with me, so to speak. Um, don't forget I'm going to add the muted backgrounds to the love story uh, just because I want it to add a little bit more color. So yeah, be sure to check out the description box. And um, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know what you, which, which collection is your favorite. If you went to Metacon and took one of my classes, let me know what you thought. Um, and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, go ahead and hit this button. And then here's a link to my shop um, if you want to check out the templates. And there might be some other videos you see on the screen that you might be interested in. I will see you guys next time. Bye.